Okay, so here is a uh, DIY power station that I made uh, for camping or uh, in the event of a power outage. So on this side, we have uh, a couple charging ports. I have one here. I have a voltmeter here that tells the output. And then a couple places to charge a cell phone. A rocker switch here that will turn on lights that are on either side. These are LEDs, so they're pretty low draw. And then of course, uh, I put a AM FM radio in it with Bluetooth. And I went with one that had built-in speakers, so I didn't actually have to put speakers into the box. It has it all there. Um, I just mounted a basic rubberized car antenna that's on a spring on the side of it so that I can still open the box. And this thing is powered by a 18 volt Ryobi battery. And then I've got room that I can put a couple more batteries in here and close the lid back on it. I can get the sticks out of it. So how well does the radio work? Um, it actually has pretty decent Tennessee, volume. Tennessee, Georgia, and North that Carolina. Radio They're open station. Monday through Saturday from 9 to 6 on Highway 411. They are so, the Hunter uh, Superstore. It's about the same range. Got a new job that's out of town. The car radio wheel. And, of course, the lights. They're, uh, they're plenty bright enough to have around the campfire or uh, set outside your tent when you're camping. The run time on this, uh, if you're just running the radio alone, I get about 12 hours run time out of it. And then the lights, I get about four hours. If you're running both of them together, you get about two hours or so out of radio and lights off one battery. So let's take a look at how this thing was built. Okay, so we've got all the parts that we're gonna use for this build laid out here on the uh, on the workbench and the ammo can. So let's get it mocked up and see what we can do.
Okay, so I've got everything in here, got everything kind of mocked up with the wire and everything the way I want. Um, you can see where the, the AM FM radio with Bluetooth is recessed into the box. The antenna, all the wires are, uh, the antenna wires kind of over here under the radio. Uh, these wires that are coming in here are for the LED light strip that I put around it so it can be kind of like a lantern. Uh, I'm going to run this on 18 volt Ryobi so we know that the radio and my power outputs won't work off of 18 volt because it's too much. So we put in this um, power regulator that cuts it from 18 down to 12 volts. So I'm going to set that there for right now. And I kind of had to figure out exactly how I wanted uh, my power to run. So when it comes in from the battery, I wanted my two power ports here in the front of the box to be hot all the time. And the rocker switch that was on that panel, I wanted it to run my lights. Also, I wanted my radio hot all the time so that I could kill everything with this switch here. Um, but I wanted to be able to leave this switch on, run the power socket to the radio, and not have the lights on. So we've got all this mocked up. Um, I ended up using wire nuts because all of the wires for the, uh, the radio, for the power source, and for the power sockets ended up being differing sizes. So instead of trying to cramp all those different sizes together, I ended up putting them in with wire nuts, twisting them, locking them down, and even put a little bit of tape on them just to hold them into place. So let's power this thing up and see what happens. So don't see any smoke, so let's take a look at the front of it and see. Okay, so we can see here that our uh, power output is reading 12.3 volts, which is pretty good because with that power regulator, you know, it wouldn't be an exact 12 volts. So let's try out the, uh, the AM FM. It's hard to see out here in this light, but we do have lights on on the radio, so let's turn it on and see if we can pick up our local radio station and see what the sound's like. Okay, so um, this radio I bought has some speakers built in. Um, it come from Amazon. It actually had some pretty decent reviews, so I thought I'd give it a try so that I didn't have to uh, cut speakers into this box. And I have to say, I'm actually uh, pretty impressed with that. So let's take a look and see what the LED lights look like. So let's turn them on. Okay, so LEDs on both sides, they're actually pretty bright. So we will try this thing out and see what it looks like after dark. So here's the back side of it where I put the, uh, the antenna on and mounted it to the side of the box so that I could uh, open the lid and the antenna still be out of the way. So the only thing that's left to do inside is I'm gonna tie up a little bit of this wire and just a little bit more. I'm gonna anchor this into place with some good industrial Velcro. And I'm gonna put a piece of wood here to make like a shelf so that my battery and my power unit will be above it and I can secure them. But also I can stick some more uh, Ryobi batteries down inside it so I can carry probably about two more batteries with me. So when I'm camping, um, we can use this thing at night listen to the radio and have some light from it but um, or if the uh, if the power's out or something we can use it for that but overall this is a, a pretty neat little box okay so I've got this thing finished out and been testing it um, we took it out put it on the front of the four-wheeler to listen to the radio while we driving around um, best I can tell 
from one battery, I'm getting about eh, four hours or so worth of radio time or lights. Um, probably a little bit less if I'm running both around two hours or so. But we're going to keep trying out the batteries and see how long they last when you get it pretty accurate. I put in the uh, wood shelf on the inside. And you can see somebody decided that would be a good storage place for a uh, jet and some GI Joes while we were out. But I'm curious to see how many batteries that I can get into this thing. So it should be able to carry about three batteries. And like I said, I'm gonna get some, um, some commercial Velcro and Velcro these things into place so that they're not moving around when I'm carrying it. But um, so far, so good with it. I mean, we've uh, really put it through its paces since we've made it. Let me give you a little quick look what it looks like in the dark with LEDs on. <laughs> So it's uh, it's bright enough that it kind of distorts the camera. So uh, it actually puts out quite a bit of light. So this ought to be uh, pretty nice camping, or if the power's out. Let's get up there. Yes. 